Hello, this is Captain Sweep of the Planetary Guardians Global News. I have a nice side, a good side, and I have a not so nice, not so good side. And I like to stay in the nice side. I like to be friendly with people. I like to get along. I like harmony. And so to keep harmony, sometimes you got to put up with stuff. Yeah, you have to put up with stuff that ordinarily you might not want to put up with, but in the moment you go, I'll put up with it. And I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about, especially Canadians. Inside, we have this outside face, and inside, we have this sort of inner critic, which is constantly assessing the situation as to whether we should participate in the good side of ourselves or the not so good part of ourselves. But you, like me, like everybody, have to understand the line between when we move from our nice side to our not so nice side and where that line exists with each person, with each situation, with our life. And I think a lot of you are getting pushed very, very close to that line where you're about to turn into your not so nice self. And I think a lot of Canadians are at that position. We can all take a lot. We can all put up with a lot. Basically, we just want to live our lives, right? Just let us live our lives. It's very simple. A government is not here to control the people to do what it wants it, us to do. That's not the purpose or function of the government. The government is supposed to deal with the larger unity of a nation or a province or a community and hopefully make it work together. Right? We need to function Little subsystems come together to make higher systems create the whole system. But there's a fundamental assumption here that this governance system is going to work for all parts of the systems and not just for a few, a few that are taking the resources out of the nation to profit, right? You get it? We are being collectively robbed. We are one of the richest nations in the world by land size, by intellectual capital, by resources. And look at us. How many Canadians are like living month to month? How many Canadians are totally in debt? How many Canadians are having financial problems? Just imagine, just imagine that our banks did not charge interest on us. That usury was removed. Just imagine what it would be like to have a country whose banking system is actually for the people, not for those few people robbing the entire nation. You have to think in these terms when you're thinking about this line between you being a nice person and a not so nice person. Because at the very top, we're being collectively screwed by a concept that is the concept that ruins nations, that puts us all in a debt we cannot pay back. It's a mathematical impossibility. There's too much interest on interest, and there's no reality in there. That is how we are being robbed. That's just at the top 
let alone all the other ways we're being robbed. And because we've been indoctrinated in these government schools to accept that this is the way things are and nothing else could be, we are trapped in a mindset that keeps us slaves. And until you understand this, until you know this, and until you can connect this to that line in the sand about how you become a good or a bad person, or a nice and not so nice, you are lost in their strategies, their traps, their illusions, their mechanisms to keep all of us psychically bound to agreements and situations that we would never choose if we had conscious choice. And so if you are a planetary guardian, you're someone who knows this. And someone who knows this is a very, very powerful being. And together, we are unstoppable.